Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how my Union base developed. We are going to see two launches. The first one, uh, you currently see, is a huge habitation module that will ensure enough living space for several Kerbals to live in comfort for years. The module has three parts. Observational cupola, radiation detoxication unit for getting rid of excessive radiation, and main habitat with training equipment. The habitat will use air braking and sky crane technique to land on surface somewhere close to base. Then it will be picked by Kerbals and brought to the site using construction rover that you can see being launched right now. The rover has quite spacious flatbed that allows to move big and heavy cargo. Currently it is occupied by supplies of food, water, oxygen and nitrogen. The plan is to land, drive to the base, unload supplies and then to go and fetch the habitat module. After almost 300 days, the habitat has encountered Duna. Small trajectory adjustments were performed to land more or less nearby surface base. As usual, I'm using the inflatable heat shield as it's proved to be the best way of entering the lunar atmosphere. The landing was quite easy, the craft was really stable during the entry and both the sky crane and parachutes performed nominally. After landing, the panels were unfolded and the module was set to standby mode waiting for further actions. Next up, rover is coming for the landing. Similarly to the habitat, it performs course corrections right after entering the SOI of Duna. Then it separates from the transfer stage and enters the atmosphere. Center of mass was not perfectly aligned with the center of drag, so there was limited control during the air braking phase. It allowed for lifting entry. Right after the toasty part of the landing, the heat shield was discarded and the sky crane took the responsibility for cancelling the remaining speed and putting the rover safely on surface. And in this very moment I have realized there was a small problem with the design. The rover was powered with RTGs which were not recognized by Bon Voyage mod, so I couldn't drive it using autopilot in the background. So the service mission had to be performed. And here it is. Two brave carbonauts left the space station and they headed to the surface. The plan was to land as close to the base as possible, then to take the crude rover that was stationing there, drive it to the cargo rover, and then attach some solar panels. The first part of the plan went flawlessly. I've managed to land 300 meters from the base, then Kerbals have mounted the rover and after a short inspection they have departed to get to the other rover. Engineer, after getting the electric drill from the stash, cannibalized panels from one vehicle and used some sheet metal screws to attach them on the other one. 
Now finally I was able to use Bon Voyage and I have drove the cargo rover to the base to attach the supplies module. The whole module was too heavy to lift at once, so I had to disassemble it and reassemble again. And to be clear, I have tweaked the KIS config a bit so a single kerbal can lift 3 tons instead of default 1 ton to help with construction. I could have used the mod construction and its parts to increase kerbal's capabilities, but I have decided that my install is already mod heavy enough. The time has come to get the habitat and bring it to the base, but first, can you see those great solar panels at the sky and crate? I've decided to use them and add them to the rover as well, as a backup. Then I separated the sky crane and proceeded to disassemble the stack. I've realized that one kerbal is not enough to move the whole thing, so I decided to bring the other one. Two of them could move objects with mass of 6 tons, so it was enough for this task. Using the power of cooperation, I've placed all the modules on the flatbed. And I've broken one of the freshly added solar panels. After arriving to the base, all the modules were unloaded and Kerbos have started a precise task of putting modules in proper place. The work had to be really gentle, as the modules are quite fragile. That's why, to put them in final arrangement, I've run them in place with the rover. Finally, both base core and the habitat were connected together with flexible corridor. The base is fully operational now. In the next transfer window, a lot of new kerbals will come to Duna for both surface base and orbital station. But for now, that would be everything. Thank you everyone for watching, please press like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and see you again in my next video.